Today, we're diving into a step-by-step -step guide on how to disassemble the Acer Chromebox CXI4. Whether you're upgrading the RAM, swapping out the SSD, or just curious about what's inside this compact powerhouse, this video is for you. Alright, let's begin. Flip your Acer Chromebox. You'll notice four rubber feet at the corners. Mine was already missing. These hide the screws we need to remove. Gently peel off the rubber feet with your spudger or fingers. They're adhesive, so take your time to avoid tearing them. Under each foot, you'll find a small Phillips screw. Use your screwdriver to remove all four screws and set them aside in a safe spot. You'll need them later. Go ahead and unscrew them all. Once the screws are out, the bottom cover should feel a bit loose, but it might still be held by plastic clips. Use your plastic spudger to gently pry along the edges. In my case, I just use my nails to pry it out. Start at one corner and work your way around. Be patient, don't force it, or you might crack the plastic. Once all the clips along the middle section of the Acer Chromebox CXI4 are fully released, gently lift the side cover away from the chassis with a slow, steady motion to avoid stressing any remaining connections or damaging the plastic. Set the cover aside carefully on a clean, static-free surface to keep it safe for reassembly. Next, you'll need to repeat this process on the opposite side of the Chromebox to access the remaining internal components. Use your plastic spudger or fingernails again to carefully work along the seams, releasing the clips one by one with the same gentle technique. Take your time to ensure the clips disengage smoothly and double check for any hidden screws or connectors that might still be securing the cover before lifting it off. Now, let's move on to prying open the middle section of the Acer Chromebox CXI4 to access the internal components. Using your fingernails or preferably a plastic spudger, carefully work along the seams of the middle part of the chassis to release the plastic clips holding it in place. Start at one corner and gently slide the spudger along the edge, applying light pressure to pop the clips loose one by one. Be patient and avoid using excessive force to prevent damaging the clips or scratching the case. If you feel resistance, double check for any remaining screws you might have missed earlier. With the bottom cover off, you'll see the heart of the CXI4. You've got the Wi Fi card slot here, the RAM slots, and power supply cable, which is small and keeping the cover. If you're upgrading the Wi-Fi card or RAM, this is where the magic happens. But if you need to go deeper, like accessing the right protect screw for firmware changes, we need to remove the heatsink which can be found at the back of this motherboard and held by four screws. On the lower portion, this cable is for the power button. To dislodge it, gently lift the cable straight up from its connector using your fingers or a plastic spudger, applying even pressure to avoid bending or damaging the delicate pins. Move slowly and carefully as ribbon cables can be fragile. To remove the heatsink, locate the screws securing it, usually four around the CPU area. Use your Phillips screwdriver to carefully remove them. Keep track of these screws, as they're smaller than the ones for the bottom cover. Let's dislodge the power supply cable. Gently grasp the connector by its sides with your fingers or use a plastic spudger for better control, and carefully lift it straight up to disconnect it from the motherboard socket. Now let's move on to removing the Wi-Fi card and its antenna. To disconnect the antenna cables, gently grasp each one at its metal connector tip using your fingers or a plastic spudger, and carefully lift straight up to pop them off the Wi-Fi card's contacts. Avoid pulling on the cables themselves to prevent damage. Use your Phillips screwdriver to carefully remove this screw, keeping it in a safe place for reassembly. With the screw removed, gently tilt the Wi-Fi card upward at an angle and slide it out of its slot being mindful not to force it or bend the card. Place the card on a static-free surface to keep it safe until you're ready to reassemble or replace it. With the four screws securing the motherboard already removed from the earlier steps, it's time to carefully lift the motherboard out of the Acer Chromebox CXI4's casing. Gently grasp the edges of the motherboard with both hands, avoiding contact with sensitive components like the CPU or RAM. Slowly and evenly lift the board straight up to disengage it from any remaining clips or standoffs in the casing, moving cautiously to prevent bending the board or damaging any connected components. If you feel any resistance, pause and double-check for any overlooked screws, cables, or connectors still anchoring the motherboard. Once the motherboard is free, carefully place it on a clean, static-free surface to avoid static discharge. 
The heat sink is secured by a few small screws. Take a moment to orient yourself and identify the heat sink's position, as this will be your next focus for further disassembly or upgrades. And there you have it. Behold the motherboard of the Acer Chromebox CXI4, the heart of this compact machine. Now that we've carefully lifted it out of the casing, you can see the intricate layout of components that power this device. Take a moment to admire the CPU, RAM slots, and other key elements like the Wi-Fi module and various connectors, all neatly arranged on this compact board. This is where all the magic happens, from processing power to connectivity. Make sure to handle the motherboard with care, keeping it on a static-free surface and avoiding contact with sensitive areas like the CPU pins or solder points to prevent any damage. From here, you can access components for upgrades, like swapping out the RAM or the Wi-Fi card with M2 NVMe, or even perform advanced tasks like firmware modifications, depending on your goal. Now that we've completed our upgrades or modifications, it's time to reassemble the Acer Chromebox CXI4 and bring it back to life. Start by picking up the bottom cover of the Chromebox, which you set aside earlier, ensuring it's clean and free of any debris. Carefully align the cover with the motherboard, paying close attention to the ports on the motherboard, such as the USB, HDMI, and power connectors, and matching them precisely with the corresponding cutouts on the casing. Plug back the power cable from the socket. Take a moment to double-check the orientation to avoid forcing anything out of place. Once aligned, gently slide the motherboard back into the casing, moving slowly and steadily to ensure it seats properly onto any standoffs or mounting points inside. Let's reinstall the Wi-Fi card and its antenna. Carefully angle the Wi-Fi card at about 45 degrees and gently slide it into its designated slot on the motherboard, ensuring the notch aligns with the slot's key. Next, locate the single Phillips screw you removed earlier and use your screwdriver to fasten the Wi-Fi card to the motherboard, being careful not to over-tighten, as this could damage the card or board. Now, let's reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables. These are the gray and black cables we detached earlier. Identify their respective slots on the Wi-Fi card, usually labeled as main and AUX, or marked with numbers. Gently press each cable's metal connector straight down onto its corresponding slot until you hear or feel a slight click, ensuring a firm connection. Now, it's time to reattach the top cover. Carefully pick up the top cover, ensuring it's clean and free of any dust or debris that could interfere with the fit. Take a moment to orient the cover correctly by locating the area where the power button and its cable are positioned. Hold the cover at a slight angle and gently lower it onto the chassis, double-checking that the alignment is spot-on to avoid misplacing the cover or pinching any internal cables. Press down gently until you hear the clip snap into place. Let's move on to reattaching the side covers. Each side cover is designed to fit a specific side of the Chromebox, so take a moment to identify the correct cover by checking the port cutouts. Look for the side with openings that match the motherboard's ports. Apply even pressure to avoid forcing the cover which could damage the clips or the casing. You should hear or feel a series of soft clicks as the clips engage securely. If the cover doesn't snap in easily, pause and double-check the alignment. The final step is to secure the bottom cover by reattaching the four screws and their corresponding rubber pads. Start by gathering the four small Phillips screws you removed earlier from under the rubber feet. Make sure you have all of them, as they're crucial for holding the chassis together. With the bottom cover already snapped into place, Flip the chrome box upside down so the bottom is facing up. Locate the four screw holes, typically found at the corners where the rubber pads were originally placed. Using your Phillips screwdriver, carefully insert each screw into its respective hole and tighten gently until snug, being cautious not to over-tighten, as this could strip the screws or damage the plastic threads in the casing. And there you have it, folks. You've just successfully disassembled, upgraded, or explored the insides of your Acer Chromebox CXI4 like a true tech pro. Drop a comment below to let me know how it went. Did you upgrade your RAM, swap the SSD, or just take a peek inside? I'd love to hear about it.